Morning. I'm not Joe Achilles because he's a bell end and he's got to go and fetch his drone. Ha! This Morning, bell ends. Team Dan and Team Pete. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where's Joe? Joe's um, Joe's a bell end and he's going to go find his drone. Because it told him it was low on battery and then he crashed. You know how drones have this really cool function where the battery, when it gets low, yep. it says, right, I'll come back yep. because my battery's running out. Unless you cancel it. And then, yeah, if you're a better and you cancel it, then it kind of dies. Yes. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Bell end. Fingers crossed they can find a willing participant in their climbing excursion today. Yes. And get the drone back, <laughs> mainly for yesterday's footage. Yeah, we're not bothered about the drone, we just Woo! want the footage. Cool. And then we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye. Perfect. Oh, I'm absolutely cool. So. So, what are we up to today? Well, where do we begin, Joe? Well, maybe at 5.30 this morning. <laughs> yeah, let's do a little flashback to that place. Yeah. We left this amazing hotel and we went on a dawn raid up to Mount Ventoux. But you guys have hopefully already seen that video because it's pretty epic. What are we doing today? Well, the rest of the group have left and they've headed on to the route. Uh, they continued the Petrohead tours. We have decided to stay because we're going to uh, retrieve my drone that fell off the side of a cliff yesterday after I maybe crashed it slightly. This morning we've been very active on social media, on the internet, trying to find avenues, find climbers basically. We need to find someone who's very good at climbing that can either abseil or climb down to where the drone is. So yeah, we've done a lot of research. We're heading off to a place today or this morning to hopefully see if they can help us. <laughs> They're in Avignon, which is uh, about 15 minute drive away. So first I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and then we're gonna get on the road and hopefully the end of this video will be a good one. So we're currently staying in a lovely hotel in Carpentras and it is called Le Safari. So if you're ever in this area, at the neck of the woods in Provence, make sure to check these guys out. Um, really, really nice place, swimming pool, good coffee, good mm. breakfast. Helped us with a few, trying to find a few people to yes. climbing. Yeah, they a uh, lovely young lady uh, works here. I think her father owns it or runs yeah. it. Um, she's very good at English, which is always handy, especially Coralie in southern France. Her name. Coralie. Coralie. Yes. Coralie. Wee wee wee. Should I show a bit of bitter? <laughs> hey, no way, no way, no way. What email have you just received? So, no word of a lie, I've just literally opened this email from a guy called Adrian Berry, who's a guy that I researched and found online, uh, a climbing instructor, and he has just emailed me back after a bit of a email thread saying he's going to get his kit together, his wife's picking his son up from school, 12 o'clock, um, be back around 12.30, he's going to give us a call to arrange then. How, <laughs> how cool is that? This. Like, that's ridiculous. So, oh my that God. basically means today that Joe and I are going to go pick up a random man named Adrian. Yeah, well, a random climbing instructor. A random climbing instructor named Adrian, who's probably a legend well, yeah. amongst the French climbers. Definitely. Um, he, just, just to put this into context, I found his email address online at about 8.30 a.m. this morning. I emailed him at, oh no, 8.57. By 9.12, so less than 20 minutes later, he'd replied asking for more information. Um, and it's now 11 a.m. and we've basically got it in the bag. <laughs> I can't um, believe it. This and is the so fact cool. is, like, he's gonna rappel down the side of a cliff, yeah. collect the drone that we crashed, and bring it back up again. Oh my god, I'm gonna reply to him before it's too late. This, this is Give him your number. That. Oh, I have, no, okay, he's, already, he's cool. already got it. Perfect. So. Absolutely. I can't believe it. Amazing. 
this I'm probably I'm, wasn't I'm a video. With Joe. <laughs> this probably wasn't a video you're expecting to kind of see, but actually it's turned into one of the greatest videos ever. Right. Well, with all that excitement, I've actually overheated. It's also about 30 degrees outside. Um, seeing as we're still at the hotel, we've got about an hour to kill. I say we go back inside and go for a quick. I think uh, that's probably best. I just I just did a quick uh, Google Maps from where you said you were coming from. Oh, okay, fantastic. This is uh, this is amazing. Like it's <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime thing. I can't believe. Yeah, no, I, I would say there's there's enough uh, room there to, to to put an anchor point. Um, yeah, you're either going to turn up and say yeah, no problem, or you must be kidding. <laughs> okay, cool, no problem. That's uh, yeah, we're, we're due in about the same time, so we'll see you up there. All right, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye. All good. Yeah, just organising where to meet him and discussing, trying to give him a picture of what it's like where we are going because obviously he has. It's to... basically a free climb for him, isn't it? It is. Yeah. He just needs an anchor point so that he can strap his point. Uh, strap his. Strap ropes. his. Come. Because <laughs> every little drone is gonna be alright. Petrolhead Pete coming to you from somewhere in France. Um, sadly, without Joe and Patrick because they are currently trying to recover Joe's drone with yesterday's awesome footage. But in their stead, I'm just doing this little bit because guess where we've just arrived at? Ah, it's the Mila Bridge. It's amazing. Um, I will do a little bit more when we get to the bottom of the bridge so you can see all of it in its glory from below. But this is us driving over the Milan Bridge without Joe and Patrick. Sorry guys. Hi guys, it's Spiet. Ah! <laughs> um, so I hope the drone recovery is going well. I guess we'll find out. But right now we are at the Milan Bridge. At Nagmalok Visitor Centre on the right. It's so big. It's so big. That's what she said. Just the side of this tunnel. But it's in there somewhere, is it? Yeah, so, so it had the GPS, last bit of GPS that we had was, it hit here, and from what we could see on the GPS, because I actually watched the camera, and it, it hit the ball, it hit this bank, yeah. and then it did about three turns and stopped in a bush. So it's, it's in right. this in this area down here. And I could show you exactly, <laughs> I could show you exactly what wow, the, wow, look at that. isn't it amazing? <laughs> This is the, the funny thing, you see, coming from the UK, yeah. there's not many cliffs in the UK. Yeah. And you come to France, like a, a little, I live out here now, and if this, you know, if, if, if that little thing down there was in the UK, it would just be like people all over. Everywhere. And this is here, it's probably never been climbed. Well, I think we were, honestly, we did a couple of ups, ups and downs yesterday to hopefully find a climber, but we didn't yeah. find. So did you find me? Um, on the internet. Looks like there's a lot of animals trailing here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wait, this is meant to be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it gets steeper there. What? Oh no. You're kidding me. <laughs> You've just walked down there. Wow. What? Is it flatter than it looks down there?
Yeah, it'll be fine. No, 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 no. Back to it. No. We made it. Oh, are we running? We are. Right, um, yes, end of a day. Not, not a successful day, it has to be said. Um, but not from lack of trying. We met up with the climber, paid him 175 euros, um, to which he basically walked down the mountain originally. <laughs> uh, and then couldn't find it, and then he abseiled down to a ledge, couldn't find it, and then Patrick went down there um, and had a good look, and then the climber actually went home, uh, and Patrick continued to search for, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, it was about three hours in total. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. You were down there for hours, and it was quite scary, um, well, for you, but I just was like, shit, you're never gonna come back. And then See you, you later. Came, and then you came back, and then I sent you up again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we kind of, we were determined to get it basically because we just thought we'd done so much um, and I was saying to Patrick early on it's a bit like I mean last night I felt gutted and sick because I've you know a thousand pound down and lost all the footage um, and it was a bit like yesterday was a bit like going to a casino and throwing a thousand pounds on red and losing and today was a bit like you know what I'll just spend another couple of hundred pounds and try and get back my winnings but <laughs> That would teach you not to gamble. Never gamble, kids. Gambling is bad, you always lose. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, we lost. Maybe we could try and get a DJI drone of some description off, off DJI um, at some point in the future, because I can't afford to spend another thousand pounds on one. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, it's the reality of, of YouTube. You know, I've been going through a lot of thinking recently, and this has been awesome, this trip, and I love this. You know, I love doing this and I'm, I'm so fortunate to have Patrick along and edit these awesome videos. Um, but the reality of YouTube is, you know, I'm, I'm lucky to take two or three hundred pounds home every month from YouTube revenue. Um, and it costs me a couple of grand a month to, to, to produce my content and sometimes more, you know, I've just spent 1200 quid in one day uh, effectively. So. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed but I'm still enjoying this trip because it's just fantastic and we've just arrived at this hotel which just looks incredible. I think we're about to go for dinner in some walled place, walled part of the city or town. Um, so that's all epic. Tomorrow I'm going to put it behind me but um, unfortunately it's a shame because we really wanted this video to be cool, fun, exciting and have a positive side to it but unfortunately it doesn't. So uh, there you go. It's just oh, filled no. with some man scaling down a mountain that we thought we needed a rope for and just walked off in the end. Yeah, it wasn't even dramatic. <laughs> he kind of just went, To be fair, oh, the video right. would have been pretty lame, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been as good. We're picturing like Spider-Man. Like episodes. epic, like ropes off 100 foot cliffs and yeah. all that sort of stuff. And we got, yeah, that's all right, and oh, walked down. Right. I'll just walk down there. Um, but you can never be too sure that that's not worth killing yourself, literally, to go and find a drone. Um, check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. I promise to be more upbeat moving forward. Um, but I'm sure you can understand why I'm feeling a little bit uh, down. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and get some food because we're late and everyone else has already eaten. Uh, sleep well and then carry on with uh, the petrol head tours and uh, put a big smile back on my face. Um, but yeah, massive thanks to Mr. Patrick behind the camera again because uh, today he was, yeah, not, not just an editor. Um, yes. I got wrecked, at, you know. Look at those legs. Oh, and there's no. much more as well. I mean, and, and he's a bit sunburnt, but. Um, I think I wrecked my shorts too. Oh no, he's wrecked his shorts as well. Yeah. But anyway, no one's died, no one's sick. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Um, what a morbid ending to a video. <laughs> it is. You can't buy health, or I was going to say you can't buy happiness, but that's a lie. Because you definitely can. You definitely can. You can buy a shallow girlfriend if you've got loads of money. Yeah. Um, right. Anyway, let's stop the let's video. Let's call it quits.
Hi guys. Um, there seems to have been an error. I think they've given us your room. Look. Everything. Everything. Everything is pink. Clearly this is the uh, Joe Achilles Talk Chasers room. Look, there's even a double bed. Not for me. No, 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 no. Not for me. Dan? Or me, mate. Not me. <laughs> this has got Joe and Patrick written all over it. Smeared in pink paint. Just let us know when you want it back.